surprise. Please don't hate me. You said wow. Wow, like, wow, I love it, or wow, like, pass me a candy cane so I can gouge out my eyes with it. I turned your place into a Christmas wonderland. A few days ago, you mentioned that you don't really enjoy the holidays and you never bother decorating. So, I went to a Christmas tree farm and I picked you up a tree. And I drove down to my parents' house and I borrowed a bunch of our old Christmas stuff that I grew up with. And then I also bought this ridiculous outfit. But I'm not going to lie and say I don't love it because it's actually so comfortable. <laughs> um, do you like it? <laughs> okay, you like the outfit. What about everything else, though? Don't avoid the question with another question. It doesn't matter how I got in. I, um, <clears throat> came down the chimney. <laughs> I did not break in. It was perfectly legal. I think. Okay, your landlord maybe let me in. I told him what I was doing, and he thought it was sweet. I also maybe slipped him a 20. But please don't blame him, he's very susceptible to bribery. He was so excited about the prospect of a $20 bill that I gave him another one just for the hell of it. You still haven't answered my question. And do you want me to take all of these decorations down? Because if you don't like it, I promise I... I can't avoid a question with a kiss, either. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing it's safe to say that you don't hate me. <laughs> okay, good. Um, do you want me to give you a tour of Christmas Wonderland? I know, I'm giving you a tour of your own place, that's kind of backwards, but I want to show you everything I did. <laughs> okay, so over here, um, we have the cookie decorating station. The cookies finished baking only a few minutes ago, so they still need to cool off. But I got red and white frosting. I couldn't find green frosting, so I got blue and yellow, which we can mix to make green. Over here is the Christmas tree. It's real, so it smells amazing. <sighs> I love pine. And I decorated it with a bunch of the ornaments from my childhood. See this one? This pine cone glued to a popsicle stick. Made by yours truly. Uh, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be exactly. I think it's just supposed to be a pine cone glued to a popsicle stick. I was three. <laughs> um, and then if you look under the tree, you'll see that I wrapped a few presents. Yeah, they're all for you. You can't open them yet, though. You have to wait for Christmas Day. Now, I meant to put this star on the top of the tree, but unfortunately, I'm not tall enough. You should really get a stepladder. I know you don't need a stepladder, but I do. Okay, what if I want to sneak into your place and decorate it again? <laughs> For, I don't know, what's the next holiday coming up? St. Patrick's Day? What if I want to decorate your place for St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> okay, you say that now, but wait till you see my little leprechaun costume. Can you help me with the star? <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, it's slightly crooked. A little to the left. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Do you want to sit down on the couch? 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I made us hot chocolate. Here you go. I added peppermint. Can you taste the peppermint? <laughs> My mom makes peppermint hot chocolate every Christmas morning. Whoa, <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, pulling me into your lap, I see. I'm the one dressed like Santa. Shouldn't this be the other way around? Mmm, <laughs> I want a pony and a Barbie and... Are you okay? <laughs> the last thing I want to do is upset you. You would tell me if this upset you, right? <laughs> Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I have so many great childhood memories of Christmas. Decorating cookies, opening gifts. Drinking peppermint hot chocolate while wrapped up in blankets on the couch with just the glow of the Christmas tree. And I realize that not everyone has fond memories like that. So, I just want to give you the kind of Christmas that I was given growing up. But I don't want to force Christmas on you. I know that's why a lot of people dread the holidays. They feel like the Christmas spirit is being shoved down their throats. And I worry that maybe I took the one place you're free of all that and made it your personal hell. <laughs> really? I'm glad you like it. I had so much fun decorating. I put on Christmas music and drank eggnog and rushed to get it done before you got back. I wanted to time everything just right so that the cookies would be fresh out of the oven and the hot chocolate would still be hot when you walk in. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah, of course. This is our first Christmas together. I want it to be special. I want you to see how amazing Christmas can be. With all the twinkly lights and the desserts, neatly wrapped presents, scarves and hats, cuddling under blankets. Is this convincing you at all? <laughs> well, I left out the best part. Mm -hmm. Kisses under mistletoe. Look up. Does this earn me a spot on the good list? <laughs> There's a Santa hat that came with the costume. I should let you wear it. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I should make you wear it. Uh, it's so soft, though. Don't say no till you feel how soft it is. Where is it? Oh, here it is. There, feel it. Right? Uh, no, stop. No, I'm putting it on you. Please. But you look so good in it. Please. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I think you should wear it year-round. I'll see if it comes in different colors. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. No, stay just like that. Don't move. Because I want to take a picture for the Christmas cards. <laughs> well. <laughs> what do you mean you 
got me a present. What? You've been carrying a gift in your jacket pocket this whole time? Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, should I put it under the tree? Now? I can't open it now, it's too early. This is a pre-Christmas gift. Oh, okay. I see. Well, in that case, gimme, gimme, gimme. I love the wrapping paper. <gasps> a key. Um, I don't know. Is it for a treasure chest? It's a key to here. <laughs> so I don't have to use the chimney. <laughs> well, that that's good, considering you don't have a chimney. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Now I can come over whenever I want. You're gonna get so sick of me. <laughs> this is, like, the best present anyone's ever gotten me. I know, but it's what the key represents. That you trust me. Uh, there are more gifts. How many pockets do you have in that jacket of yours? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the gifts are in your car right now. You didn't have to get me more stuff. The key to your place is enough. <laughs> I cannot believe you went Christmas shopping for me. I know, but you had to shoulder your way through crowds and wait in a line, a long line, probably sandwiched between a Karen and a crying two-year-old while Mariah Carey blares through the store speakers. All for me. That is love. Now I feel like a loser because I bought all of your gifts online. I know, but... Despite loving Christmas, I hate the Christmas shopping itself. It's so stressful. When I'm standing in a giant shopping mall, I get sensory overload and I can't decide what to buy and then I totally shut down. Online is easier. Which is why you're an absolute saint for going to the mall in December for me. I think that's everyone's worst nightmare. I can't wait to see what you got me. Wait, no, 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 no. No hints. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> Who knew you could get so into Christmas? I thought you hated it. But you love me, aw. My heart is going to explode. I love you more. Thank you. Do you want to decorate cookies? Really? Because another option is we could just eat the frosting directly from the can. <laughs> there are no rules when it comes to cookie decorating. <gasps> you know what we should also do? We No, no, no. It's a good idea. Trust me. Listen, we should watch really bad Christmas movies. No, don't walk away from me. <laughs> no, come back. It's a good idea, please. It'll be so fun to make fun of. Are you really telling me that you don't want to watch a big city businesswoman fall in love with a widowed Christmas tree farm owner hillbilly guy in a flannel? Despicable. I thought I was doing so well bringing the Christmas spirit out of you. <laughs> okay, let's, we'll decorate cookies and then we'll go from there. I know, but I think I can change your mind. I have my ways. <laughs> now pass me a cookie. 